Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Saurav and uh, with me I have uh, Dr. Shreya Goswami and she has uh, got 159 score in the recent uh, FMG exam that is a uh, foreign medical graduate examination and uh, many many congratulations to her and the, the top of it that she uh, got it in her first exam and that is not an easy task, every one of us know. Many congratulations Shreya to you and your family. Please you, uh, tell me more about you. From where have you, I mean, did your MBBS? What have been your plans since first year? Just introduce yourself to us. So I'm Shago Swami and I have studied MBBS from Lincoln University, Malaysia. I studied from an offshore campus in uh, Sanjeevan Hospital, Kuleshwar in the Howrah. Okay. And yeah. And um, during the third year, we had COVID and I took an online platform. But, you know, I faced difficulty in my consistency. I was not consistent in that online platform. Mm -hmm. So I thought of uh, taking an offline coaching. And uh, here in the West Bengal, uh, we have only dance. So I thought in my final year that I should take dance. And So when you were in final year, you uh, joined dams uh, face-to-face regular uh, along with the need PG aspirants, uh, FMG yeah, aspirants yeah. are also there. So you joined yeah, yeah. in fourth year of your MBBS in the offshore campus yeah. of West Bengal, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, tell me how was your experience? Uh, before that, have you done, uh, have you, did you uh, do any classes, uh, online classes before fourth year? I have done from other coaching online classes, but uh, okay. then I, I feel that I am not consistent with that classes you know i didn't pay, uh, i didn't face the competition i didn't pay, uh, saw my friends doing that so i i think offline classes helped me uh, seeing my friends uh, uh, doing the classes and i faced the healthy competition in me and uh, so i think that is that worked for me amazing amazing so did you attend all the classes or uh, did you do some online and some offline no, no, no. I did all my offline classes. I started from uh, April and then I completed in the December. That's amazing. So uh, every class you attended uh, offline, face-to-face. -face. Yeah. So yeah. that is a very good learning. I mean, the uh, online, I mean, it's not harm in doing online, but online you are distracted by so many things. Offline you yeah, sit yeah. for two days, three days and you have to study. Uh, it's active learning. Correct. Yeah, my full focus was on the class only. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. So tell me your experience uh, first um, in uh, M how did you uh, went uh, you had to go to Malaysia or all uh, offshore campus you were in all the time in Bengal? No, no, we had to go to Malaysia every year. Then okay. we came back after a few months and again we do the classes. Okay, fine. So I mean, uh, this was the first attempt of your for foreign medical graduate examination, right? Yeah. And we all know that it's not an easy thing to to crack the examination to score. <laughs> oh, the not at all. <laughs> so how oh. was the picture this time? Uh, I started uh, from April uh, in the dams only, and um, first I I remember my first class was psychiatry by Sachin sir, mm -hmm. and uh, he is amazing. I I did the first class and I thought there is no looking back. So I uh, continued my classes and um, yeah, from there, uh, confidence, there was uh, confidence in me and uh, yeah, uh, it happened gradually and gradually and I did. So did you uh, manage to start it in April and you finished in December and your exam was uh, just uh, last month. So in that time you were uh, revising your MCQs as well, revising your notes and doing MCQs. What was the MCQs? Uh, thing you had to, what was your strategy during this if uh, if you were uh, if you can tell your uh, fellow students who are going to prepare for fmg now yeah i have completed one topic and then i do the mcqs and mm -hmm. uh, when i completed it after doing the uh, studying the topic then i find that i am doing it well and it helped me to increase my confidence and also i do the mock test and it also helped me yeah Okay. I did the CBT before the exams. It also helped me. CBT for the NEET and next that one? Or no, no, not for it? FMG. Oh, FMG. FMG. Achha, tell me, uh, how was it? Was it difficult to do the classes along with the NEET uh, and next aspirants? Or uh, you were happy in doing only with the FMG students? 
I think there must have been an edge because there was a healthy competition. You must be seeing those students, uh, the answering and all. They must, you must be pumping up that you also should answer, you should also learn. How was your experience? Tell me frankly about that. Um, firstly, uh, when I first started, I, I find it re really difficult that uh, yeah they are all answering and all. But yeah. then gradually, gradually, I also started uh, uh, doing it and practicing the MCQs and all. And uh, I think that I was uh, somewhere in between them. Like yeah. I could answer some things. Okay. Um, yeah, it helped me. Of course, you cannot you cannot uh, jump to a very high level when you start. You have to go gradually. Even for everyone who has been uh, doing an MBBS in India, it is for it is a gradual process. You start uh, step by step, and then you go ahead. And that is what the prime example you have set up. It's an amazing work. So now you tell me that now you have to do your internship, right? You'll do in Bengal yeah. only. Yeah. And uh, what will be your goal now? I mean, are you happy with this, or you will uh, go further? Oh, I want to do my NEET PG. Excellent, excellent. That is what I wanted to hear. So, what will be your strategy now? Uh, I will complete my internship, and during the internship days, also I will um, take the dance online coaching, and I will uh, try to study and keep it uh, in a good way. Yeah. And then after internship, uh, I will uh, give the exam. If yes. that happens, then it's fine. Or if that not works then i will again do the dance coaching why, why won't it happen if you have done this for the first time in this you can <laughs> do that also you have you have an edge you don't understand you have an edge you have done one uh the classes which have been done for neat students who are preparing for you have done that already so you just have to yeah yeah, yeah you are, you are in much yeah, yeah. over edge among many students so please yeah. uh, don't uh, stop you continue with your studies your revision during your uh yeah, yeah. as well and that will help you if you have done this on the first time I think uh, we can take your interview in person time of need PG as well. Yeah, sure. And you will be the prime example of the uh, of such many yeah. many few students uh, I've seen have done uh, what you have done. So I'm uh, many many best wishes for you for the need PG. Don't uh, hold Thank back. You. Many people hold back and they are happy with this. I know you're happy. Your parents are happy. Uh, tell me about your parents. Anyone in your family is a doctor? Uh, no, no, no. One is doctor. You're the, you're the first one. Yeah. Okay. You're still, I mean, you just have to go, you, uh, you have to do internship and then you will be uh, a full-fledged doctor. But uh, don't hold back and uh, you should do your uh, need PG examination uh, exam. Prepare whatever the things you have already. You have to just have to revise and do MCQs. Internship must, uh, internship will be uh, slightly hectic. So MCQ yeah. will be very, 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 very important in that, as you have done for the FMG. Uh, so tell me last uh, quickly um, uh, about uh, anything uh, in the last uh, month preparation strategy. What was your uh, thing? DFX or anything else uh, helped you? One, you said CPD, yeah, I, you gave already mock exams. Yeah. I have started the DFX in the last month itself and I uh, saw all the videos and I repeated it and mm -hmm. uh, gave the MCQs and yeah. The DFX really helped. It was very short and crisp and yeah, uh -huh. it was very uh -huh. helpful. Right, right, right. So there were 300 uh, questions and uh, you got it 3159 uh, correct out of those, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's good. So anything, uh, last minute tips for the your fellow students, uh, those who are not able to crack this time, uh, those who were your batchmates or those who are juniors, what should they do if they're starting preparing for FMG examination now? For FMG first. I think uh, they should start early. I started in the fifth year, but I think they should start early and they should be con uh, consistent with the coaching and all and uh, study uh, study only one material. Okay? Yeah, that's, that's good thing. And any material is okay, but you should stick to one, uh, one source. Yeah. A lot of sources yeah. will not help you. Any so every 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 source is good. It's not like it's just that you have to stick to one uh, uh, trust one source and stick to that. That that will help. Uh, that's a very good message, uh, Shreya. And um, many congratulations to you and your family. And uh, my you, best wishes to you for Need PG. I told you in the next year after your internship, we will take your interview again. First time. Need sure. PG. All right. I will try my best. Sir. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Best wishes. Thank you. Thank you.